Hey guys, Marty up north. Uh, welcome back to Alberta. It's a beautiful day in uh, July. And um, as one of the most common questions I get on YouTube is about the water. Because you guys see that I drink a lot of water directly from the creeks. Because I tend to hike above um, the tree line and I get nice glacial water. And, and, and I drink a lot of water because it's pure and I and I, and uh, that's the fundamental reason but the other reason I've never and, and people always ask how come I don't bring a filter and one of the reasons I've never brought a filter is because filters were always bulky and uh, let me you know not nothing against nothing against MSR they make great products but I do have uh, you know I, I, I do have an MSR filter here but this thing if I you know this has got a ceramic cartridge and this thing weighs a ton so, so I tend to only bring this on things like on my canoe trips. But uh, a company uh, out, of, uh, out of the US, um, Hydro Blue, sent me this uh, fancy little unit and I'm gonna demonstrate how to use this unit today. So, and with a unit this light, I mean, this is two ounces. I really don't have an excuse for not bringing this on a hike with me because it only weighs two ounces. Actually, that's pretty clear water. Um, so the way the way this little filter unit works is quite clever, actually, because it has, if you uh, zoom in on the bottom, it so the the water flows from here out the bottom. You can see the direction of the water flow. The filter has standard threads that you find on a lot of things. And actually the threads actually work on a bottle like this. So all you gotta do is filter it on there and then grab whatever you call, consider your clean bottle. So this is my clean bottle. So now if I pop this off and I just turn it upside down in here, It will start to, there it goes. Now because it's in a bottle and it's, it's, it's pulling air, it creates a vacuum in the bottle. So I have to let the air get back in. Anyways, so you see how it works. So now, I'm gonna show when when uh, when you buy these Hydro Blue filters, the this the kit comes actually with a hose, a hose clamp, and this nifty little adapter. Now, normally. You would do this with a big bucket. Let's say you were in camp and you had a big bucket or maybe even a, a, a big bucket, a jerry can, something like that. So this fitting has a couple of, a couple of washers. I'm just gonna, gonna take off the one washer here. Now I drilled about a three quarter inch hole in the bottom put this washer back on there and then so I'm simulating what would happen if you lived in camp uh, and you had a bigger bucket you could put this nozzle that came with the filter on the bottom or on the side and then you could um, you can use the hose that it came with and actually, that's quite a bit of hose. You could cut different lengths of hose, and then you could, and then you put the filter in line like this. So now you could set up something with a larger bucket, and you could have this pouring into your uh, into your water bottle. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fill this up with water. And actually, the beauty of this is you get more. Uh, you, you get a head of water and there you go. So now you're 
producing clean water through the filter. Actually, it even works with a small empty yogurt jar. I'm just going to put it in there. Now this can filter uh, 20 ounces a minute, which which is basically about half this one liter bottle. Now, if you want it to stop the flow, that's where that's where this little clamp comes from. So if you if you pinch the tube, the flow stops. So I'll just put that down. And then if you unpinch, the flow resumes. So quite handy actually. So very, um, very clever, very easy to use system. Um, and, and, and then with, you know, with, with the, with the adapter or with the hose, there's a lot of things you could do. I mean, if you wanted to put it in, um, um, you, you could put this filter in line with your platypus. So if you had a water pack on your bag, you could cut a piece of hose and you could put the filter in line with your platypus. So you could have your platypus bag, bit of hose, this filter, and then another uh, uh, chunk of hose at the end. So, so it's basically, it is a cartridge filter that can be used in line in lots of ways. So, um, actually, I, I just mentioned the word platypus, which happens to be a brand name. There's platypus, there's uh, camelback, but this is a platypus bag and it does, uh, attach in there. So actually if I filled up the platypus bag with water and hung it upside down, same thing, I'd, I'd, I'd get fantastic filtration. So um, so there you go, very handy little unit, only weighs uh, two ounces, uh, comes with a hose and a clamp, not a lot of reasons to not bring this on a trip with you. Now let me just put this back in. All right, some, I was out this morning, I went out into uh, uh, into a little park uh, a few miles from our place and I did the video but I was looking at the video and the water I got this morning when I was doing it was way too clean it was almost the water I'm used to drinking so I want to see what this unit can really do so uh, I'm back at home right now my pond is dry right now this is this is silt in the bottom of my pond so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna make some dirty water Not overly crazy. Now the thing about the thing about this. Okay, I wouldn't want to drink that. That is not something I I didn't put a lot. Now I'll filter it. I probably still won't drink it because uh, this is agricultural land around here, and I have probably fertilizer runoff and maybe even fuels and stuff like that. So um, you know I'm. Like I said in earlier, the, the, the filter is capable of filtering down to 0.1 micron, which will take care of bacteria, but it won't take care of chemicals like um, like uh, diesel or things like that. You need activated charcoal to take care of that. So, but, um, and, and, and in an environment, in an urban environment, the water I encounter there is likely to have chemicals in it, which won't be filtered mechanically by the little filter. But definitely in the mountains, when I'm hiking in the mountains, especially above the tree line, there I'm, I'm interested in mechanical filtration because I'm encountering things like the bacteria that cause beaver fever and, and silt. And, and actually this looks like silt. Silt is because when the water is running off the mountains, it's just eroding the rocks and it's making very, very fine particulates. So let's go filter and see what okay, that does. So same setup that I had this morning, just a, um, a small yogurt cup so in camp you, or if you're hiking you might have a camelback or something bigger than this um, and then I got the clip on there and then I have the filter which make sure that's all right so now in in a real situation I would probably do the same thing so the water that I mix if you look at the bottom then there's dirt settled in there and I might try to settle it a little bit, you know, no sense overwhelming. Actually, what I could do is put a, I could dump this through a bandana. I might take a, a my bandana or even a coffee filter if you're crazy enough to bring a coffee filter in the bush. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna just decant the water without, um, 
you know keeping that whole sediment in the bottom and then I'm gonna use a, the, an identical bottle to see how clean this filters now I'm gonna unclip the clip Zoom in on that. Uh... So it's supposed to do 20 ounces a minute, which you'd think is almost a bottle like that. But there's there's obviously a little bit of actually the the jug is oh, that's why it stopped now because I'm already I'm already below the so I just didn't have enough uh, uh, water in there. But, would you drink that, Nick? Probably. I, I would. I would, I would absolutely drink that in, um, I would absolutely drink that in the mountains. Like I said, there's maybe a little bit of runoff in my pond, but actually, I'm crazy enough to do it. If that's not a testament to how good that works, I don't know what is. That's amazing. Actually, I'm absolutely amazed. Definitely, like I said, in the mountains, I'm drinking water, and the worst thing is silt. And people, and I've, I've been, maybe I've been lucky, but I've never gotten sick from beaver fever. The worst I get is a bit of an upset stomach, and I know I get an upset stomach from all the silt, which is calcium carbonate and other things, which is basically salt. So, anyways, there you have it. Fantastic. I just wasn't totally satisfied with the test this morning. This is this is proof that uh, this unit definitely filters water. One thing I forgot to do while I was out in the field this afternoon is, or this morning is show that once you get home you want to dry the filter. But before you do that, because this is a mechanical filter, um, you can backwash it. So and and it's a it's not that complicated actually. So the water right normally flows this way and particles, silt, things like that will, will accumulate along the filter. So to back flush it, you actually get a water bottle. So once I got home, it's actually warm water. Once you get home, you get um, warm water. You, you squeeze against the membrane and then you press. And there it is. So now I'm actually flowing backwards through the filter and back flushing it and keeping it clean so it's as simple as that so there you go so fantastic little unit bring it home after a weekend of use get some clean water back filter it and then uh, I'm gonna empty it completely and then I'm gonna let it dry and it'll be ready to go next time well there you have it folks it's the uh... Um, that's the packaging for the Hydro Blue VersaFlow unit that I just showed you uh, being used in the field. So comes with the inline cartridge, comes with the adapter for the bucket, comes with the hose clamp, and uh, some uh, about uh, two and a half feet of uh, tubing. So, and, and the specs are there. So it's uh, 0.1 micron is the filtration using hollow fiber. So it's not um, th that that kind of uh, size por uh, of pores means that it will it will in fact filter the the stuff that I could find in Canadian rivers up north here. So the uh, the giardia or whatever it's called, the beaver fever, that little um, that little bacteria will. Um, um, will be filtered but it won't filter things like viruses so if you're worried about a virus like the polio virus well then you can't filter it with that that you would need to uh, have chemical treatment or uh, I'm not even sure if uh, carbon fiber will take care of viruses but 
in Canadian waters where I'm hiking, I'm not finding viruses. So uh, just plain mechanical filtration is all that I need. And right now, Hydro Blue keeps their costs down by selling online the, the hydroblue.com. The uh, link will be on the uh, video. But uh, this unit, so I, I got it for free because they send it to me. Because like I said, I people always comment that they see me drinking water um, without filtering it. And now I have no excuse because they've sent me this two ounce unit that will take out particulate matter like silt, uh, glacial silt. And then it'll take down the really, really small stuff like the beaver, beaver fever um, uh, bacteria. And uh, you can get this online for $19.95.